Um, just before I continue, this line's recorded, okay? Yes, no worries. Right. Your tickets are all issued now, so you can just go online and check in, and your residual amount will be emailed out to you in the next few um, days or so. Okay, brilliant. So everything's booked, and you're going to uh, just send what the, like, the my new voucher. Yes. Okay. Exactly. So just, you can go online and check in now, because check-in should be open. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for your help. You're very welcome. Take care and have a good trip. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Thanks, bye. <laughs> well, I'm going to Croatia tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the captain and the entire crew, I'd like to welcome you here to Zagreb. groceries I need but I'm here I'm in Zagreb in Croatia I'm gonna be here for the next two weeks why have I just suddenly flown over to Zagreb and dropped behind so on Thursday a lady has added me in this group in which all these people with long-distance relationships are talking about what they're doing and found out that you can still get to America with the caveat that if you go to Croatia and spend 14 days there, you can then fly across because you've been out of the Schengen area for enough time. So Thursday night, didn't get that much sleep. And Friday morning, I was just like, fuck it, let's do it. Who knows what's gonna happen with this corona? Who knows when borders are gonna open? We we're thinking about waiting to December, see if we can see each other. But if I've got a chance to go and see Elena, gonna do it and there's a bit of a bigger reason for this really I can say it now because this video won't air till it's all over but this is my mission to get to Elena and sign that lifetime deal with her yeah put the ring on the finger so it's kind of all like a bit of a fairy tale right now thing is I've only just arrived here and now I've got to spend two weeks people so today is the eighth it's been a week one week down all good had a good work week um, it's pretty much the same when you come start traveling to lots of different cities especially when you're going between European cities you realize that there's not much that's different they're all the same they all have your shops that you need to go to they all have Wi-Fi they all have everything you need is here it's on your doorstep and the place I'm staying is right in the center of Zagreb so it's perfect. So work's been great. Nothing has changed in terms of rules of me getting to America so far. So it's just a waiting game. And that's that that's the hard thing about it. You kind of just sitting here just hoping and there's nothing really much more you can do. I just have to wait and I mean everything should stay fine. It's funny when I first was like getting on the plane and getting here, I was filled with all this like empowerment, I was like, yes, this is what life all about, taking control, making decisions, like something that's in my control was going to try and get to America so I could see Elena because that's something that's been bugging me all year. I could have waited to December and waited to the rules change, which who knows when, or I could just take this action and come to Croatia for two weeks and try and make something happen. So. Yeah, that was super empowering and then you kind of get here and then you're on your own for a bit and you're like, hmm, yeah, I've got two weeks now, great, what do I do with myself? But luckily, taking on past experiences from travelling on my own and being living in different countries and being on, on my own, just starting again at loads of different times, 
I find it quite easy to settle into a routine pretty quickly. There's always the things, no matter where I am in the world, that I'm going to do every day, and that kind of just sets me up for the rest of the time. And then with work, you it just keeps your mind off, keeps your mind off the time. So it's been completely fine. It's actually been a nice change of pace. The weather is amazing at the moment. So it's really nice to finish work, go outside and do a bit of exploring and, and enjoy the weather. But yeah, as opposed to where I'm in Nottingham and I'm finished work and I'm out going play golf, playing football, playing basketball because I'm someone who needs to fill all my time in the day. Here I've been able to give the chance to just chill out and do something a bit different and really rest. So that's been awesome. Anyway, I'll show you some more clips and hopefully I'll speak to you next Saturday right before I leave. tomorrow and then Sunday we finally fly. What's good people? So, I'm here. Raleigh, North Carolina. Phase two, complete, all through customs. Can relax a little bit now. Drove down from DC yesterday. My sleeping pattern is all over the place. It's only gonna continue being messed up because I've gotta wake up about four for work. But anyway, now this week, I've got to start getting things together. Working with Elena's mom in order to get everybody to Washington this weekend finally propose so hey folks Ryan here just to provide some VO context as the quality of the video severely declines at this point I'm just remembering now that I've got to film something today and here I am doing some weird smile go to Washington and then trying to fill the space I haven't done a video in absolute months so I'm thinking, what is Elena thinking right now? Is she thinking, why am I doing a video just to go to Washington? I'm trying to play it off. Anyway, the plan was to get to Washington, propose in the evening, and then go to a local restaurant and surprise her with all the friends and family. We ran into the first hurdle when we arrived at a family home because her brother and her wife had left the dogs at the house. Why would their dogs be at the family home when they live two and a half hours away? Luckily, Tesla pulled it out of the bag and bought a great excuse. So we went and met up with them pretty shortly after. That was out the window. Next was to move on and figure out the proposal location and the photographer. So I'm going to propose on the waterfront and I've got this photographer that I've never met. So I don't know what she looks like. Anyway, Elena's mid doing schoolwork at the time. I know we're supposed to be there. Now this is a touchy time because She's in the middle of doing this test and you don't want to be disturbing her during that time. So I kindly nudge her saying, we've got to move on. And she's like, why? This is Washington. Everything's within a two mile radius. So she's really confused, but anyway, she gives in and we leave. So then we get down to the waterfront. I can't find the photographer, but you're going to see the pictures that she took now. I get down on one knee. Elena says, yes. Would you believe it? And we put the ring on the finger, hug. Next minute, I'm now scanning, thinking, where is this photographer? I bloody hope she's caught this. I've kept her waiting here for about 45 minutes. Let me please play that we at least captured the moment. 
But anyway, we did. It was really nice. Thank you, shout out to Alyssa because she captured some great shots. The next task was now getting to the restaurant, the bank. Shout out the bank in Washington. We had friends from Charlotte coming up and some all our friends and family. And then this was the moment when we walked in and surprised. Yeah! So, a bit awkward walking into everyone, surprising us, but the person you hear there is Bobby giving a good whoop and a walla and it was just an awesome evening. We just hung out with everybody at the bank and then we went back to Sarah's who lives on the waterfront and just had a good time with all our friends. So let me pass over back to me in real time. Howdy. So now that it's all done, Rings on the finger. How was the engagement? Surprising? Very surprising. I had no idea. Not even when I got out of the car? No, not even when you got out of the car. I mean, I figured you were going to engage me. You're going to propose. <laughs> engage me. <laughs> so what was the best part of the whole, the whole thing? Probably just having everyone there. Yeah, I think The so. surprise of having all my friends and family. And People come in making the trip from Charlotte and Ohio yeah. to come see. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah, very great. Hardy, what would be your favorite part? Anyway, that's it. So wrap. Two weeks in Croatia. Bit of organization. Job done. Completed Job done. it. Completed it. Check. Anyway, till next time. Elena, what did you tell the people? Keep it easy.